guys and welcome back to my channel so today's video is all about my latest skincare routine so as you can see from the title i have been using the ordinary and the revolution skincare london products so we're gonna get straight into the video really quick but i just want to let everyone know if you are new to my channel that i have reviewed these after nine to twelve weeks i strongly believe that you need that amount of time in order to review a skincare routine your skin renews after nine weeks therefore it allows the time for that routine to actually kick in and do what it says so these aren't just being reviewed after one or two weeks i have taken nine to twelve weeks to actually use them so also i have come on camera for you all with no makeup on my skin i have brushed my brows through pop some mascara and a little bit of lip tint on the lips but other than that the skin is a fresh face as ever as you can tell my rosiness is shining through but yeah i just wanted to just show you what my skin looks like after nine to twelve weeks of using these products and then you can maybe get a rough estimate of how it's going to help you nonetheless let's just get into the video don't forget to do the full shebang comment like subscribe and let's just get into it okay so the first product i'm going to talk about is the revolution skincare spf 15 protect and boost moisturizer now i purchased this product because i don't know if you've noticed in the past couple of videos i've been reviewing my skincare so many of them do not have spf in it the old enrickson didn't have spf Ponds didn't have SPF and trying to get a hold of my Kiehl's moisturizer where I used to have SPF in that as well was an absolute nightmare. So I just don't think there's accessible moisturizers on the market with SPF, especially if you are on a budget. But this is definitely budget friendly and that's what made me purchase this product. It retails at £10 and it has SPF 15 in it. Now you can also get it in SPF 30 both in normal to dry and combo to oily. So it's available for all skin types and you have two different levels of SPF. I can see me getting my, my tongues tied a million and one times in this video, but you know, it's me, it's gonna happen. But yeah, it has it in 15 and it has it in 30. Now, the reason why I can't stress enough how important SPF is for your skin is because if you are like me or like many people out there who are working their backsides off, trying to get beautiful skin you are using the serums the acids the moisturizers you're getting chemical peels you're getting led like facials you're getting the dermaplanings you're doing everything in order to ensure your skin is at its prime and then you leave the house with no spf you've basically unraveled all the hard work in an instant the sun's elements the uva and the uvb they cause premature aging sunburn skin cancer wrinkles none of it is appealing none of it so always 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 ensure you have spf on your face when well if you can put it all over your body every single day 100 percent do that but ensure it is on your face because your face is always out and available to the elements outside but i just wanted to make sure you understood why i'm stressing about spf so much it's just really important to me that a lot of people don't use it on a daily basis and don't get me wrong if you wear foundation every single day a lot of foundations already have SPF in it, so that's great. But if you're like me, who, although I'm a makeup artist, I don't always leave the house with makeup on, I'm quite content leaving with not a scrap on my face on a daily basis, then you don't have that protection in anything other than your moisturiser. So always ensure that you have SPF in one or the other, depends on what you use yourself. Now getting back into the product, like I said, it is a budget-friendly SPF moisturiser. It is vegan, cruelty-free and fragrance-free. So if you are extra sensitive, the fragrance-free is gonna benefit you. Fragrance actually can cause a lot of sensitivity issues and a lot of people don't realise that that's the problem with their moisturisers or with the products that they're using. This does still have a scent it smells of SPF basically that's the scent that it naturally has so because it's fragrance free people assume it's not going to smell of anything it's not it's going to smell of the products that they use naturally they derived to create this product and those products have their own natural scent now with this one it's dominantly SPF scented so I like that it's not a scent that when you put it on you can still smell it five hours later it's just a, a smell that goes on and within five minutes once it's soaked into the skin you can't smell it anymore. The consistency of the moisturiser is a medium consistency and it sits beautifully under makeup. Now, it's a good job it sits beautifully under makeup because their slogan is better skin, better makeup, which is 100% true. The more you look after your skin, the easier it is on your makeup. So it did sit beautifully under the skin. I found it went on like a dream. It soaked in really well. It didn't leave any residue or anything like that it just sat on the skin lovely and as you can tell there's no stickiness to my face but 
it seemed to have soaked in in a semi matte because there is still a natural sheen to the skin, a natural glow. It doesn't look like it's made from moisturizer. It just looks like your skin is naturally glowing. So it did really like that about the product. The SPF, like I said, available in 15 to 30, did not seem to leave a white cast on my skin. Now that's the biggest problem when purchasing SPF moisturizers and even sun creams. They tend to leave a white cast on the skin. Now, the lighter your skin tone, the less you're gonna notice it. The deeper your skin tone and richer that your skin tone is, you are gonna notice if there is a white cast. Unfortunately, I would normally trial a moisturizer like this on some of my darker skin tone clients, but unfortunately with lockdown, that's not possible for me to do so. So we can't comment on whether there is a white cast when you are a deeper, richer skin tone. If you've used this before and you have a deeper skin tone, please do comment down below and let me know if there is a white cast, but there wasn't on mine, but I'm a very pale soul, so it's not that difficult for there not to be a white cast on my skin. That's just my natural skin tone. But yeah, it didn't leave a white cast. It's budget friendly. It went on like a dream. It's that gorgeous under makeup. And all in all, I was really, really impressed. Now, I've never purchased from Revolution Skincare before. I have purchased Revolution Makeup, but never the skincare. Now, quick note on the packaging. I know a lot of people like to know about packaging and think it's quite important. If you watch my channel a lot, you will know that I'm not that interested in packaging when it comes to products. If the packaging's amazing and it doesn't affect taking money out of creating the product, then I don't really care. And I will say, oh, it's still gorgeous, but so long as the product isn't going up six, seven pound just because you want to use this fancy packaging or you haven't took six, seven pounds out of the budget of creating the product in order to create that packaging. So the packaging, plain, simple, it's dominantly glass, which is great for the environment. When it's dominantly glass, it means it's got a better recycle life. So I do like the fact that it is dominantly glass. I also like glass for my skincare and cosmetics anyway. It gives them a much more cleaner. You can wipe them down. They just look a lot better. But all in all, I was really, really impressed. I would definitely purchase it again and I would 100% purchase the SPF 30 when I'm going abroad. I've been using this obviously for the past nine to 12 weeks. Now, the past couple of weeks, England and in particular Liverpool has had some gorgeous weather going into the 20s. So I've really got to test whether the SPF worked in this and normally I will get a little bit of burn in here if I don't cover it with sun cream. I have to ensure I cover my ears and I always ensure I cover my nose because if I'm going to burn anywhere, it's going to be in these regions on my face. Now I put this on every single morning. I sat outside. Yes, okay. I'm not one for sitting in the sun too long with my skin but I didn't burn once. And I do think this SPF is really, really good. So I highly recommend it. This whole skincare regime I've been using is on a budget and this did not falter for on a budget. I would give this a nine out of 10. I really, really, really liked it. And for £10, you cannot go wrong. Next up on my skincare routine, it has been products from The Ordinary. So I purchased three products from The Ordinary and I've actually been using The Ordinary for quite a few years. I think the first product I purchased was when they were introduced to Beauty Bay in about 2016 and it was the salicylic acid. Now, back then, did I know what I needed salicylic acid for? No. Did I know what I was doing with it? No. Did I know what it was going to do? No. But as years have gone on, I have become a facial and dermaplane technician. I understand skincare a little bit more. Don't get me wrong, I'm not going to sit here and say, I understand the ins and outs of all these acids. I know there's a lot of people in the industry who don't understand it all as well as the people who are creating this product. They are in-depth scientists and they will know it to a different level. It's like you have facial technicians and then you have skin specialists. There's a big difference in the knowledge that they know. I do know which is good for my skin and what I need. And the problem with The Ordinary is they create so many different products that a lot of us don't know what we want. And when we purchase it, the problem we have with it is that we're buying products that can actually counteract one another. So I wanted to keep my skincare routine really, really simple with The Ordinary. However, if you are struggling when you are wanting to purchase from The Ordinary, you can actually contact them and they will give you a full skincare routine and they will help you and guide you through the process. So you're never alone really when you are purchasing from the ordinary and for a budget skincare that's phenomenal you don't even get that when you purchase from big name brands who are charging 50 60 70 pound for a serum so that alone is a reason to purchase from the ordinary now i purchased the hyaluronic acids the argoline solution and the aha bha but first we're going to talk about the first ordinary product i've been using every single morning 
and every single evening straight after cleansing and that is the Argoline Solution 10%. Now this targets the appearance of dynamic facial lines so if you don't know what Argoline is and don't get me wrong I didn't know what it was initially but I've done my research and found out it is a solution that a Lipotech company in Barcelona trademarked and they highly recommend it for any facial folds. So this product is recommended to use in your forehead, around your eyes and then it did read a few reviews and someone had popped it on her lip which made sense because your lips can actually wrinkle a lot as you get older so this is a preventative measure this isn't something that's going to fix everything instantly it is a preventative and that is what i've purchased it as i haven't got these expectations that it's going to make my skin frozen or anything like that i do know it's a preventative measure now the product retails at five pound fifty so it's an absolute steal such a little bargain and it is a serum. This is classed as a serum, although when you open it and you first get it, you will be a little bit shocked at how watery the product actually is. And the reason why it's watery is because Argolan is, it excels and does so much better in a high water content. So although it is a serum and you expect more of a syrupy like substance, it isn't. It is a water substance really really high water level but the reason for that is because the argoline in it is excelling in that high water content so don't be alarmed if you purchase it and think oh why is it so watery it's supposed to be like that it works better in that situation so i just dropped a few drops on my forehead and around my eyes now what i love about the ordinary is their packaging is simple it's delicate it looks professional it looks clean and it is more sanitary because they have these pipettes on pretty much everything that they produce so i instantly love the fact that their packaging is simple clean and sleek but also the ordinary are renowned for the fact that the reason why their packaging is simple and not over the top is because they use all their, their money into the products all the money goes into the research behind what they're creating and then they create it rather than farting about and worrying about the packaging they focus on what's inside the packaging so again a great part of the company that's what I love about them did I like it yes I did can I tell you if it's prevented any wrinkles well I haven't really got many on my skin and I love the fact that this is picking up the sheen that the natural glow of that moisturizer is leaving but yeah I do have laughter lines and I do have one frown line that I've had since a child I actually was came out the womb with that line in my forehead my mum's always laughed about it but this line right here if it's picking up on camera it's quite a fine line has been there for years but I've always worried about it getting really really deep so that was why I purchased this all in all, I think it's a really, really good preventative measure product. And like I said, it's a pure bargain, so you cannot go wrong. So definitely recommend giving it a go, seeing what you think. If you are a lot more older and you've used this and it actually has got rid of some wrinkles, I would like to know. I did read a few reviews where the lady about the lips said that it seemed to have taken away her fine lines around her lips. So there was some really, really good reviews on this product. So definitely recommend The next this product one. I've been using in my skincare routine after the Argoline solution is the Hyaluronic Acid 2% and Vitamin B5. Now, if you don't know what Hyaluronic Acid is, I'm going to get into it a little bit, but basically Hyaluronic Acid is a product that we produce naturally inside our tissue, inside our body and skin. It is something that we, ha that we produce for other reasons than what we actually use it for in skincare. It is not used for moisture and hydration naturally inside of us, but when it is extracted and used in skincare, it is a wonderful product for hydrating and plumping the skin. And the reason why is because every molecule in hyaluronic acid holds 1000 times its water weight. So we naturally drink lots and lots of water in order to make our skin plump hydrated but we need help we can't we can't just rely on water now this product basically has different molecular sizes and that's what makes the ordinaries slightly better than other skincare companies that create hyaluronic acid now the different sizes come in large medium and small now the large molecular size but doesn't penetrate into the skin as easy whereas the smaller sizes get into the skin a little bit better and get deeper into those layers that we have in our skin. Now, like I said, some hyaluronic acids on the market don't work and some do. The reason why the ones that don't work is because their molecular sizes are all too large. So what happens is you put the serum on and it catches all that moisture in the air, 
but it just holds it on the top layer of our skin. Your skin can look plump, it can feel plump, it can feel hydrated and moisturised, but the minute you wash that all off, you are left with skin that you basically had before you put it on and it doesn't seem to have done anything. And the reason why is because it's basically just worked on the top layer of skin. If you watched my Ole Henriksen video, you will know that I talked about how the serums we use are what do all the hard work. They're the queen of our skincare routine, in my opinion. They work their way in and they penetrate into the tissues and layers of our skin. Whereas the moisturiser is what we use to hydrate the top layer of our skin. The moisturiser can only go so deep, whereas the serums work in its backside off to give you that skin that you want. Same goes for hyaluronic acids. Now, they use three different types of hyaluronic acids with all different molecular sizes. So what you are getting is the smaller molecules go into the deepest part that they can, the medium working in the middle, and then the larger molecules working on the top. So you've got three different levels of hyaluronic acids working their little bums off to make your skin look amazing. And that's why when you wash your face later that evening, your skin is still hydrated because those smaller medium molecules are deeper in the skin. Now this comes with vitamin B5 and vitamin B5 is basically great for surface hydration. So not only have they used different molecular sizes and something called a cross polymer, which I remember vaguely in science, it's about polymers and monomers crossing over. But to be honest, that was just science that I didn't wanna bring into this video. There's a lot behind it. But the B5 basically helps the hydration surface on your skin so the surface is a lot larger and can attract a lot more again working in time with those molecular sizes so that's the science behind the product i hope that's made sense now if you get this you will notice the difference in the argyline solution and the hyaluronic acid this is a lot more of a syrupy thick sugary type substance now hyaluronic acid naturally is glyco something inside our skin if i remember rightly it's more like a glyco consistency and that is why this has a thicker syrupy like texture now initially you think it's going to go on and it's going to be really really sticky and it is at first but it soaks in really 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 nice it leaves the skin feeling nice and fresh like i said there's no stickiness on my face at the moment and i have used all of these products like i have done every other day and i will be honest this hydrated my skin quite well. Would I give a 10 out of 10? No, I felt like I could have had a little bit more hydration and to be quite honest, it was for areas around my nose and just around my lip area that I was struggling with and my eyes, but it did get my skin to look plump, to be hydrated and just look a thousand times better. So I would highly recommend this product and I would give it an 8.5 out of 10. So I highly recommend this product there is, a, like I said, a lot of science behind the ordinary products, but that is what's so reassuring as well. And also, just so you know, although this says hyaluronic acid on the bottle, it is actually classed as a hydrator. It doesn't come under acids when you shop for it. That's because it isn't actually exfoliating the skin. It isn't getting rid of dead skin. It isn't resurfacing. It is basically working its way into your skin to keep you hydrated and to make you look plump. So although it says hyaluronic acids, don't be scared. It isn't an actual acid. And... Also, I've been using this before it. The reason why you use the Argyline solution before it is because it is such a high water content and it can't work its way through this. It clearly says to use this first. Use the Argyline solution before you use anything else because of its water level content. The last product we're going to talk about is the AHA BHA 10 minute peeling solution. Now, this is probably their most famous product on the market. And the reason why it's so famous is because of its red colour, that blood red colour that it produces, which is so cool on the skin when you put it on. It does look like your skin's bleeding. Some people might think that's gross. I think it's pretty cool when the way it goes on. It looks amazing. But it also reminds me of a vampire facial. So that's what attracted to me buying it. I also like the fact that it was a very strong exfoliator, but I also realised how strong it actually was and how important it is that you know about this product before you buy it. So AHA is alpha hydroxy acids, glycolic, lactic, tartric and citric. BHA is beta hydroxy acids and contains salicylic acids. Now both AHA and BHA are for exfoliating the top most surface layer of your skin, but they also do other things. So the AHA is great for brightening and plumping the skin and giving it a more youthful appearance. And BHA is great for declogging and getting rid of all the congestion in your skin and in your pores. 
Combined together, the 30 of the AHA and the 2% of the BHA make a 32% solution, which is very, very, very strong if you use it without knowing what you're doing. You can burn your skin, you can have a serious reaction to it. It clearly, clearly says to test, patch this product when you purchase it and do not use it longer than 10 minutes one to two times a week. Now, I took that very, very serious because of what is in the product. It also has the Tasmanian pepperberry, which is what gives it this gorgeous red color, which comes from a plant. Now, if you've ever purchased this and you're wondering why yours is a different color to the last bottle you had, it's because when they, when they get the pepperberry, it depends on what time of year it makes that bright red color, or it could just be a couple of shades lighter. The pepperberry is also great for anyone who is using the product and it is a little bit more sensitive to them. It basically aids in the sensitivity of what you're doing. It also contains hyaluronic acid and vitamin B5, which you know from my previous product that we've been talking about. So it contains an awful lot in the one little teeny tiny 30 ml bottle, which retails at, let me just double check, £6.30. It retails at £6.30 and there's an awful lot going on with it. Did I like it? Yes, I did. But did I find it exfoliated massively? No. But the reason why I think that is, I dermaplane. So I was using this every single Friday night for three weeks and then I was dermaplane on my fourth week, using it again for three weeks and dermaplane on my fourth week. I was ensuring that I wasn't using it twice a week, just once a week. So my skin had a solid seven days to basically recover before I used it the next week or before I dermaplaned. Again, always if you're using anything like this and you are getting other facial treatments done, always make sure you speak to the practitioner because they will be able to help you. So I do reckon it's a really good exfoliating peel. It did feel really, my skin felt really much brighter, really new. It just felt new like it does after a dermaplane. 100% recommend it. I'd give it a 9 out of 10 just because I don't know if it got rid of any fine lines or wrinkles. It definitely made my skin appear much more brighter, but make sure you're using it correctly. Make sure you know what you're doing and don't use it for any longer than it clearly states on the bottle. Before I finish, I just want to mention that this was one of the biggest examples I could have had that linked back to the SPF moisturiser. If you are using, in particular, any strong acids, any peels, any chemical peels, dermaplaning, anything like that that is stripping your skin of something, you need to make sure you are using SPF. So that is basically the latest skincare routine I've been using. In the evening, I have been going in with the Pons moisturizer, which I was using in the skincare routine prior to this. The reason for that is I actually just want to use it up and I couldn't find any nighttime moisturizers that really appealed to me and interest me when I was doing my shop for the skincare routine. But I've been using a teeny tiny bit of this mixed in with this BYBI Strawberry Booster, 100% natural certified, vegan, cruelty free, 100% cold pressed strawberry seed oil. That's a title and a half. Sometimes it's a little bit too much to read out on these, but this contains high content of omega fatty acids, which makes this a powerful skin softener to regenerate and improve the skin's moisture levels. So I've been using this of an evening after putting on my Argoline and my hyaluronic acids, and then using this, like I said, once a week. All in all, this is actually really nice and I'm going to start purchasing more drops and boosters for my skincare routines rather than changing the routine altogether because I definitely want to stick to using these two and using this once a week and I'm really enjoying this moisturiser. So I think my next routine will more be about my nighttime skincare routine and what I have changed up and what I really think the market needs. So yeah, that's this video, guys. I hope you like it. I hope I've gone into as much detail as possible. I also didn't want to bore you all to death with the science behind The Ordinary. I wanted to try and make it as quick in a little nutshell as possible, but make it so it was understandable. And yeah, that is my latest skincare video. I hope you like it. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.